In this short video, we're going to be talking about how to author your own interactive activities over a video that you can then use in a classroom or set your students for homework. So ideally, you should have been given a login. Now at the very top here, it says sign in. And you are going to use your own email address that you signed up with and the password that you've been emailed. Now, when you sign in for the first time, it's gonna ask you to choose a username and a password. So that password that you just got, you're never gonna use that again. You're gonna create your own password when you first sign up. Ideally, your username should have no spaces or special characters. So something like I've got here with the underscores works perfectly. I'm just gonna create a new secret password. And when I click update, I'm now signed in and next time I sign in, I will have to use that new password. So once I'm signed in, it will now say create new at the top of the page where it previously said sign in. And if I click this button, it's gonna take me to the authoring page. The first thing it's going to ask is for a YouTube ID or a URL. I've got this video handy here from Northumberland Council about how to do your recycling. Now I'm gonna use this video as an example. So if I copy this whole URL or even just the ID, which is the part after V equals, I can paste it into this input box and it's gonna instantly update and start playing that video for me. Now this video is eight minutes and 22 seconds, but I actually want something a bit shorter to use with my students. So I'm gonna scroll this in until the point where I know I want the class to start. And I'm just gonna remove this end bit here. So I can use these two orange lines to crop off the start and end time. And it now starts at 20 seconds and ends at 6.37. And you'll see that the total class time is now 6.16. Once I'm happy with how I've cropped the video, I can add questions in place. If I click edit questions here, you'll see that this now starts at 20 seconds and ends at 6.37. At any point, we can go back to cut video and change the cropping time. Now, if I sit and watch this video, at any point where I choose to pause it, right now they're talking about how you have to remove the lids before you put the plastic bottles in the recycling so they don't explode in the back of the recycling van when they get crushed, obviously. I'm going to add a question about that here. So when the timer is in place, if I hit add question at the top right, it's gonna take me to this authoring questions screen. Now my question is, should you remove the lids from plastic bottles? Currently this goes off the screen a little, but don't worry about that. It will show up on the student screen. And the two answers that it could possibly be are yes, and no, it's not the most complicated or exciting question in the world, but the correct answer is yes. So I check this checkbox simply at the end. Now, actually, I've just realized I put this a little bit too soon because the person was still talking on the video. So I'm just gonna shift this question back uh, three or four seconds and you'll see it's updated the line at the end and moved us along. Now, when I'm ready, I can hit play and it will carry on playing the video. And later on, I wanna ask a question about uh, soup cans. So I'm going to put a stop in here and ask another very simple question. Can I recycle soup cans? Again, it's a yes or no question, but we could add up to four answers. This one again has the answer yes. And I'm now pretty happy. If I click on this orange line, it's gonna take me back to this question. I can come back and re-edit or move the time, or I can click back here and come to this one. I'm pretty happy with just having these two questions in this video that I'm going to send to my students. Now, if I hit save up in the top right, it's gonna save the video and it's gonna add it to my personal page. So when you do choose that user ID, you're gonna to wanna to choose something which is gonna work quite well as the URL, because you'll notice that the URL now has my ID that I set up there. And you'll see that I now have this, what can I recycle guide as one of my classes. 
Now, if I click play now down here, you'll see it's going to bring up the QR code so that I could use it in a classroom with multiple students. Or I also have a unique URL that I can now send to my students if I want them to use it for homework. And as we play through this video, it will ask me the questions in time about the lids and the tin cans, and we can tot up the scores of all our students. Now, I've just realized that actually I don't live in Northumberland, so this video doesn't uh, apply to my students. So I'm gonna remove it and add a different video. Now, if I am signed in, and I know I'm signed in because it currently says create new at the top and not sign in, and I'm on my own personal page, fd underscore rob underscore Sutcliffe is my page, then I'm gonna have this little cross at the top of each of the lessons. So I wanna remove this last one because I accidentally added the wrong video. And I do that by double clicking on this cross. There isn't gonna be a warning or anything, so it is a double click. And once that's double clicked, that has now completely removed that class. I can go back to create new and add the video that I wanted to. If you have any further questions about how to add interactions to YouTube videos or how to use it in your classroom, please don't hesitate to get in touch. But for now, I hope this was most useful to you and best of luck.